I'm Todd Grisham, and how about this venue, ladies and gentlemen, Brooklyn Hall. And watching this live with me is Johnny Nelson. I feel like a fraud. How have I got these ringside seats? The blonde bomber, Ebony Bridges, fighting from down under in New South Wales, Australia. She won the IBF Bantamweight title in March of 2022. Miss GB, Natasha Jonas. She fights out of Liverpool, UK, and won the WBO Junior Middleweight title in February of 2022. Just take note, Todd. Check out the reach. Check it out. And with that, let's go into the ring and the Hall of Fame announcer himself, Jimmy Lennon Jr. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red court... One of the hottest tickets around. It's standing room only for this, our main event. You know, look at the stars, ex-fighters, ex-champions ringside. You've got future opponents, past opponents. That's what these fights do. That's what these venues do. Let's go. The opening bell, round one. Score. Right punch. We welcome you to this beautiful theater. Shakespeare has nothing on the drama that we see between these two fighters. We expect a standing ovation when these two are done. You walk in, you cannot hide or duck or stand behind anybody. The audience is on you. They see every single movement, every single twitch. If you're scared, the thousands of people are here in this place, they will spot it. Nice counter punch. Tasha Jonas on lovely legs. Exactly where she doesn't need to be. Didn't wait long to get back in and get engaged. Catch and shoot. Good right hand. She throws the jab, but it doesn't score. Four cards are going to be all over the place in this. And there's the bell for round two. She's coming off a fantastic last round. Let's see what she's going to do here. Just missed with that hook. Just as quickly as the action slows down, it heats back up. Nice job by her to block that jab. So much for defensive abilities. Resolve she showed. Didn't wait long to get back and get engaged. Punch, counter punch. Some nice exchanges from both women in this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now, this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both. Natasha Jonas on lovely legs. Look at her trying 
to fight her way out of this. She might just want to hold on and play some defense. I thought we were going to see the finish there. And these shots, even if they land, are going to do no damage. There's a counter shot. The winner of this surely will get a world title. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Pretty dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here in the next round. You can't move it up. The bell rings and we start the third. She's coming off a fantastic last round. Let's see what she's going to do here. They are not going to let this one go to the judges. She misses with that jam. fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. He's got a very impressive reach. Some nice exchanges from both women in this round. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Just like a match made in heaven. She blocks that right uppercut. It's knockout or bust for both of these fighters. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Nice job landing with that right hand counter. Counter-punching for both. They've got the momentum. They've got the advantage. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight. On to the fourth we go. She's coming off a fantastic last round. Let's see what she's going to do here. You couldn't write a script like this. This is like Rocky versus Apollo. Fighters are made for one another. She can't find a home for that jab. They both want a knockout, you can tell. Talk about a fighter having power. Don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body. Natasha Jonas in trouble. Is this big opportunity to finish the fight slipping her by? No, we don't see a knockdown. That left counter was perfectly timed. Oh, and that shot hurt Natasha Jonas. Natasha Jonas. And this fight continues. Good counter right hand again. 
It looks like she's going to survive the round, but just barely. That'll be a 10-8 round for sure. With On to the fifth we go. She got dropped in the last round. Let's see how she does here. Fantastic punch. Nice counter shot. That left-handed jab doesn't quite score. a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. Some nice exchanges from both women in this round. A very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other, because no one dare do anything out of turn. been a very competitive round between these two. Quick punch scores. There's a scoring blow. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Out about who won that round. On to the sixth round. She's coming off a fantastic last round. Let's see what she's going to do here. Oh, and Jonas plays with a lot of big punches, and Jonas can't take it anymore. Back up on their feet, but I'm not sure why. And this GB is now in trouble. And this GB goes down. the corner may have to intervene here because this fighter won't stay down. The corner needs to think nice and sharp. They know their fight. They know what their fight is capable of doing and what their fight can and cannot take. This is going to be a tough decision to make. I want to back out of the pocket here. Look how slow these punches are. Perfect counter shot. Someone use a jab here to establish a boxing presence, but no, they just want to fight. The perfect counter land. It looks like she's going to survive the round, but just barely. A lot of work 
needs to be done in this corner. Two knockdowns in the last. And there's the bell for round seven. It's been a nightmare so far. What can they do to turn this around? Two knockdowns, and you're coming back from that. That's new on impossible because your head must be all over the place. Your legs are feeling like jelly. What can they tell you in the corner? All they can do is wake you up. They can't even go into game plan. Oh, and that shot hurt. And this GB goes down. Back up on their feet, but I'm not sure why. A lot of big punches, and Jonas can't take it anymore. Celebrate after another knockout. That must hurt. 